playing their second tournament, which was last week at their home Super Series event. Now, of course, this is their sixth match because they had two qualifying matches. Now, I want to draw your attention to the second round of the qualifying because that pair of Wang Yaxiong and Yu Xiao Han were winners last week of the Korean Super Series. Having to qualify this week, that's extraordinary, isn't it? Anyway, no seeded players have they played against. Their quarter-final against teammates Che Yu Jung and Kim So Young, who in the first round had beaten the defending champions Yule and Pedersen. Well, not surprising, this is the first meeting between the two, as this is only the third ever tournament for the Koreans as a partnership. So there is Henrik Boas Olsen, who I was telling you about earlier, Krai Seng Tong Tab of Thailand is our service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Naoko Fukuman, Koromi Yunao, Japan. And on my left, Kim Hana, Hi Yung Kong, Korea. Kim Hana to serve. To Naoko Fukuman. Love all. Play. So the qualifiers and the very experienced Kim Ha Na getting this semi final underway. And I say vastly experienced because Kim Ha Na has been world number one in the mixed doubles discipline. And she and Go Sun Hyun, with whom she became world number one reached the final of the mixed doubles here last year. One love. Lost the final, so, to Cheng Shi Wei and Cheng Ching Cheng. Hey. This is, in fact, her fourth semi-final here, her second in women's doubles. Two mixed doubles semis, because apart from that final last year, she was semi-finalist in 2015. Two love. And she was semi-finalist here in the women's doubles in 2014. So this is her fourth consecutive year that Kim Hana has contested at least one semi-final at the Japan Open. Turns over. One, two. Over. Yeah, good return. Three, one. Hey. Over. Two, three. Smash from three Gong Hee Yong. Former silver medalist at the Asian Junior Championships 2014 in the mixed doubles discipline with Kim Jong Ho. Four, three. Oh. It's a nice serve from Kim Ha Na. Well, if the Koreans were to win this, it would only be the fifth time in Super Series history that qualifiers contested a women's doubles final. Super Series events. There's only ever been one pair that's come through the qualifying and won 
a women's doubles title at a Super Series, and that was the last time it happened, which was at the Denmark Open last year, not last year, two years ago, when Jung Kyung Un and Shin Sun Chan were given a walkover in the final against Tiang Ching and Xiao Yunlei. Good defence. Confusion. And between Fukuman Six. and Hyono. Oh. oh, goodness me. Fukuman. Well, this Fukuman. is the seventh year they've been in their partnership, so you would have thought that they would have a good understanding by now. Showing her Seven. quality as a front court Six. player, Kim Han Art. That's why she became world number one in the mixed doubles discipline. Wonderful disguise on that drop shot from Kim Hana. Eight, six. Actually contested two Super Series finals in women's doubles, both in India and both with Jung Kyung Ong. One in 2012 and then beaten in the final two years after that. with the drift. Nine, six. Elegant Kim Han Art. Change. Her partner, Gong Hee Young, was the youngest member of the Four. national team Six a couple over. of years ago. Seven, ten.
to the mid-game interval seven, with the qualifiers interval. with a four-point advantage. Qualifiers from Korea, there they are. Ra Kim in their coach. One of the greatest Just in the middle, yeah. mixed doubles players of all time with her now husband, Kim Dong Moon. Here she is. So eleven seven. Steps over eight eleven. moment hey! yeah Good smash and I can see somebody behind the court in the crowd He's using a flash camera Four. at the moment. It must be very distracting for the players. Two. 14, 11. Oh, where has she yes. been? I know she's only 20, so she's been developing her badminton, but what a good young prospect. Kung Hee Young. Hey. Oh, well worked. 
15, 11. She was right to go for it, I think, Kim Hana. 12-15. Yeah, definitely. You can't make all of your shots all of the time. By the nature of the sport, you will inevitably make some mistakes. you just got to accept that. But she was right to go for it. Well, you wouldn't believe that it's very nearly three years since she was last 16, in the Super Series women's doubles semi-final. She's really been concentrating on the mixed doubles in recent past. The last semi-final at this Super Series level was the, in fact, the Super Series finals of 2014 in Dubai. 17, she's looking sharp. 12. There's going to be an awful lot of changes in the Korean women's doubles pairs for the upcoming Super Series events. I hope we see this pair playing together more because it's an exciting prospect. Straight points for this Japanese pair. Hey! Yeah. Over. And 
that's why I said earlier she was right to go for the interception at the 19, net because when 16. she makes it like that, it usually wins the rally. Very similar shot and situation to the previous one that I talked about. Taken. It's game 20, point opportunities. Game point, Three of them to be precise. Rarely shows any emotion, Coach Orakumin. Didn't really show much emotion when she was a player Steps either. Over. And she didn't need to most 18, of the time she was winning. 20. player on court makes the return error in this crucial, crucial stage. Hey. Hey. Oh yes, well taken. And on their third game point opportunity, the qualifiers from Korea Kim, convert. Hana, Kong, 21, Kim Hana and Gong Hee Yong. Opening game, 21-19. Well, she's a powerful athlete, is Gong. How deep the defence is, though. They've got to try and stand their ground. Japanese pair for that opening game. 21-19 in 21 minutes. the final here in 2012 with Shizuka Matsuo. Left-handed player. Over, 
on. Well, the Japanese pair need to be careful here. Because I just get the feeling if the Korean qualifiers open up a bit of a lead, it might be very, very difficult. Oh, yeah, that's a service error. Two, three. Clearly a service error. has been in 12 Super Series tournament finals, 10 in mixed doubles, 2 in women's doubles. It's been well wide. Right. And the way she's playing at the moment, so I wouldn't be at all surprised two. if tomorrow she's contesting Super Series final number 13. Complete understanding between the two Korean players. Gong going forwards. And Kim didn't react to that. Not quickly enough, anyway. frame of the racket. Hey. Lucky Eight. net cord. Three. But it is really luck, or does she create her own luck? Look at that anticipation. Very, very good. And gets herself in a good position, takes the shuttle in front of her. I think she created her own luck. to 
penetrate the excellent defence of Fukuman and Yonau. And I'm not sure it's really in the Japanese pair's remit or in their natural style of play to go all out attack, but I think they have to try and not allow their opponents Five. to Nine. attack as much as they have been because they are finding their mark. trying to attack more but the problem is especially when uh, Fulkerman is playing from the back as we saw at the end of that rally not really tall enough it's only five foot two or 157 to hit steeply enough to really put her opponents under pressure which is why they've developed as a pair such good defensive play because her lack of height means that her attacking play is not going to be as strong as an awful lot of other players. Ten. Kim Five. Now are almost 10 centimetres Five. taller than her. I do beg your pardon, 20 centimetres taller. another example of how they're able to break down the defence and penetrate with their attacking play the qualifiers Kim Ha Na and Gong Hee Yong That's well taken. It's gone wide. The more I'm watching Gon Hee Yong, the more she's reminding me of Lee Kyung Wong. Who, of course, won Olympic silver medal with Lee Ho Jung in Beijing. Ah! 
45. It's a tall, tall order from here, isn't it? Yeah, that's nice. The two Japanese players just smiling at each other and saying, come on, we can keep fighting. You never know. Well, it does look, I have to say, as if Kim and Gong will contest the final tomorrow in only their third ever tournament together. Second Super Series a week after their first. And if that were to happen, it will be the first women's doubles final for Kim Hana at a Super Series level since losing in the final of the India Open of 2014. So three and a half years. 16-5. Of course, for her partner. As this is her first semi-final, it will obviously be her first final. But we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. They haven't won yet. But with an 11-point advantage, it looks highly probable. idea or well, you've got such an advantage six, six, I don't eight. see the problem in having a go at something like that as long as you keep the focus to get the overall job done Wide. Oh, she's taken it. That was going well wide. What a rally. It's got to be the longest rally of the match so far. Amazing. Oh! Well, all four players on court must have felt the pace of that rally. Yes, I'm sure that's Mami Nato in the coach's chair. Sixty-five Kim. shots. Longest Kim. rally of the day so far. First service error of the match. It's one service error apiece, as far as the two pairs are concerned.
Fukuman and you now were involved in a match at the Asian Championships last year in Wuhan that lasted two hours and 41 minutes. It was against Maswari and Bolly of Indonesia. through with their attacking play. 18, eight. Now just three points away from a place in the final in only their third ever tournament together. Hey. All taken. My goodness. How's it still going? Well, remarkable defence at the start of that rally from the Japanese pair. Yes, wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Wipe the court, please. Korea. Both pairs allowed to go and tell down. As five years ago, she contested the final with Matsuo. Well, start to the Hong Kong pair of... Thank you. Hunokian and seeing Sia. Nine, 18. And that's the only Super Series title for that Hong Kong pair. Yeah, Korea, please test. So obviously a new racket for now call Fukuman. So just two points away from her place in the final now. That's very well worked and very well finished off from Kim Ha Na. Match point, ten. Match point opportunities. have done it. Remarkable. Coming through the qualifying 
and all the way through to the final. And for Kim Han Ar, it'll be a second consecutive final here at the Japan Open. A year ago, it was mixed doubles final. This year, it's women's doubles in only her third tournament together with her young partner, Kong Hee Yong. And, Yong. Won by Kim Han Ar. and it Yong will only be the fifth time 19, in Super 11. Series history that a pair from the qualifying will contest the women's doubles final at a Super Series tournament. Incredible run of good form by this brand new pair of Kim Ha Na and Gong Hee Yong. Their confirmation 21 19, 21 11 in a match lasting 44 minutes.